How to block unwanted text messages. If you're getting unwanted text messages to your cell phone, you can file a complaint or configure your phone carrier account to block the spam. You will need an online carrier account, a phone number alias, registration at the FCC Do Not Call list, and an FCC complaint form. Step 1. Know what a spam text message is. You can't delete it without opening it first. If you do open it, you'll be charged by your carrier. Unwanted spam text messages are typically sent from a website or via a spammer's email account. Step 2. Contact your carrier's customer service department. If you don't use text messaging, ask them to disable the service from your account. Be aware, though, that some carriers won't do this. T-Mobile has a message blocking service that allows you to block all text messages, including instant messages and email. Step 3. Go to your carrier's website and create an online account. Each carrier has a way to set your phone to block at least some text messages. Verizon and AT&T allow customers to block messages from specific email addresses or websites. Step 4. Create a phone number alias via your carrier to block spammers that have your phone number. Give your alias only to those you choose. Step 5. Complain to your carrier if you're charged for unwanted spam text messages that you've opened. Smartphones may pick up viruses from text messages that include links to malware websites. Step 6. Register your phone number with the Federal Communication Commission's Do Not Call list. File a complaint form for unwanted spam text messages and stop receiving unwanted text messages on your phone. Did you know? In 1992, the world's first text message, Merry Christmas, was sent by British engineer Neil Papworth to his Vodafone co-workers.